Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Twitch live streaming of KSB's Hard Career Mode. What you're about to see was recorded on June 6th, and has been edited for YouTube. Please follow me on Twitch to get notified when I'm streaming, I'm Tyler Ray's there as well. It takes me some time to edit the videos for YouTube, so if you can't watch the streams, Twitch's video on demand feature is the best way to keep up with the latest developments, though those videos are unedited and only remain available for about a week. I usually stream on Saturday and Sunday at 1pm Pacific Time, 8pm GMT, and on Wednesday at 4pm Pacific Time, 11pm GMT. Now on to my commentary from June the 6th. Alright, hello everybody. We are back and we need to save our Kerbal around, <laughs> around Lathe. That is the main job for today. Big dramatic music for the for the rescue attempt. Uh, we might as well try this station. Let let's do as much as possible. I want to throw a lot of Delta V into this thing. Let's not go halfway this time. Last time we we had a very small little mission trying to save the Kerbal. This time I'll feel a little bit better if we try to go all the way with it. So, uh, yeah, so putting the station in orbit around Jewel and also trying to rescue our Kerbal. This still seems a little bit ostentatious, and it's a heavy cockpit, but maybe we should uh, just go with it. Let's try and create something a little bit more substantial. Uh, let's bring some, maybe a tourist with us too. Do we, uh, the, the one thing I don't have is the drone core. It's it's the robot in the lower corner. Oh, here. Ah, okay. Uh, so 550. Hmm. Well, obviously we're short of that. Yeah. Well, anyway, we'll just put the cargo bay and the core in it like previously. Let's let's open that one up and work on that. Sidri, it's Sidri. No, we have not gotten Sidri back. We've gotten Sidri into a better pod. But we haven't gotten Sidri back. Well, I mean, it was very handy to have have this docking port here because we lost all the mob propellant on air breaking around Lathe. Hmm. This thing really didn't handle the air breaking very well, did it? If we were going to try and air break around Lathe with it again this time, we'd probably again have stuff ripping off. I mean, that air break barely got us into orbit around Lathe. And still, this part ripped off. But then again, I guess we could bring it in uh, backwards, uh, tail first. Maybe, maybe going poodle like this, real serious like. But then again, probably the terrier is a little bit more efficient in this case. What's the mass? Oh yeah, it's it's too light for this. Let's see. Well, that'll be about right. Let's see what kind of Delta V this has. So we got a ton of fuel in there. We've got four tons here. We've got eight tons there. So uh, that's 13 tons altogether. Uh, I get 2,960. So if we can get to... But then, uh, let me see how much the Clampatron... How much does that weigh? 0.6. I mean, we could probably get rid of that. Oh no, we need a docking port anyway, don't we? We need a docking port and it's got the mob propellant, so probably safer. Uh, we don't need the mob propellant here. Let's dump that. So there's a lot heavier, of course, 22 tons. But we... we did have a... did we save that launcher as a sub-assembly? No. Hold on, uh, we have a launcher that can deal with this. Let me, uh, say, dual station redux. Okay. And probably the same sort of deal for here. But that was still really, really... And we need to slip in SAS units. Still really, really wobbly. I could hold it, but it's still wobbly. The very least we need to do is is uh, rescue Sidri. The most we need to do with this 
is uh, get to Val. Use twin bores uh, as side boosters and don't shorten main stage uh, main sail stage possibly. It depends on the cost. The twin bores are uh, well. Let's see what the cost is. Seventeen thousand, thirteen thousand. Yeah, as the twin bores will be good. Uh, we can shift things down, and uh, we've got a heavy uh, main stage right now. This is the main sail can't deal with this mass right now. We'll see. Sidri going back or staying as resident on this station? Uh, we'll see. Um, what? Uh, maybe we should have some sort of way of getting him back. <laughs> this obviously can't come back. I'm doing this whole thing again, not planning on bringing this back, so Sidri would still be over there, huh? 99% of what you know about this game. Well, uh, okay. Uh, I'm having trouble here, but, uh, <laughs> so, uh, glad to have been of service. Uh, huh. We've got a Kerbal Strand around Lathe. I mean, he's got, uh, 1400 Delta V, oh, no, I think about 1200 Delta V right now, which isn't enough to get him back to Kerbin, that's for sure. Uh, the problem is this isn't exactly enough to get him back to Kerbin either. I really wish I knew about Kerbal Attachments. Uh, I, I really wish I had Kerbal Attachment System so that I could use this to refuel his little pod and get him back. Maybe we should send a little refueler. Well, no, we can't. A uh, two stage transfer vehicle connecting orbit and then set it out there? Yeah. That's, that's a good thing. No, the question is uh, parachutes. Because <laughs> if we want to bring Sidri back. We need to outfit something with... Uh, this is not going to... Well, we could put wheels on this thing and a wing uh, and try and bring it back in the atmosphere, but this isn't much for uh, for re-entry otherwise. Uh, some engine explosions on Sidri's vehicle, so refill is not... No, he's in a new pod now. We, we, we semi-rescued him. He's in a pod that has engines and, uh, and 1,200 meters per second at Delta V. But that's just not enough to get back. We tried rescuing him already. We just didn't end up with enough Delta V because he was in a polar orbit or, of some sort. He was in a weird orbit. And the inclination change to match orbits with him cost too much. Now, uh, we could have his current vehicle adjust his orbit to an equatorial orbit or to match this one. And then rendezvous with this one. And then transfer over. The question is whether this one would have enough Delta V to bring him back. And, of course, if it brings him back, it doesn't have parachutes. Okay, now uh, we've got quite a bit of fuel down there. This is going to be quite a tall s booster. Pretty sure it can lift that. That's fine. This is going to have plenty of Delta V. Let's put some more controllers, huh? Not controllers, uh, SAS units. Reaction wheels. Okay, now we need to strut like crazy. Um, I really should check the Delta V on this thing, but I'm absolutely sure it's enough to launch this in a space. Yeah, let's just go with it. Uh, okay, what else have you guys said? Uh, leave the skipper stage attached and refuel it in LKO. Could do. I think... Well, we're, we've got a very expensive vehicle now. Uh, sandbox. Okay, part of the 1.0.2 career series. That's correct. This is the live stream for that series. Yay! Except it's gonna be a while before... Oops. It's gonna be a while before I can produce the video for YouTube of it. Okay. Now we need Separatrons. I'm gonna make this a standard launch vehicle. I think it looks pretty standard. Um, it actually is quite overpowered. Uh, we should fuel line from the outside to the inside. Probably. And probably more struts. We don't probably don't have to we probably don't have to run the mainsail on launch at all, do we? What's the ISP of the twin bores? 280. Well, the main sail is more efficient on launch anyway, so we might as well run a few lines into it. 
struts to the top? No, I wouldn't. You mean like this? Um, I wouldn't like the look of it from the... Uh, well, maybe from... Hold on, uh, do we have the cubic octagonals yet? No, we don't. I'd run them using the cubic octagonal struts, but we don't have those yet. Oops, not what I wanted. So, can we get the little cubic octagonal struts? And where would they happen to be? Just looking for a reason to spend funds. Okay, uh, that's the one. Okay, well, I'll unlock this. And we'll get those. Sorry, this is taking a little bit longer than my normal build so far, but... Okay, hopefully that will reduce wiggle. We'll call this Jewel Station Redux, and uh, this will be one thing, but, and I'll save this, but we'll, we'll have this as a sub-assembly, and so we'll be able to launch something else on it, and I think I'm going to want to launch a proper recovery mission for... So, this is going to be... Well, uh, I don't know what the capacity of this is right now. Come up with a name, guys. I need a name for this launcher. Okay. Uh, I'll wait a few seconds. I'll think of one too. But I need a name for this launcher. Giant Planet Rescue. <laughs> well, this isn't actually the rescue portion. Uh, we'll see. Um, just the launcher we're trying. Uh, some some really inspiring name for this. That hopefully doesn't evoke uh, blowing up. Burlack Lovely Overpower. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she made no Kerbal. <laughs> well, it's not the first, uh, it's not really the first one, so. Okay, uh, okay, Tritonia I like. Rescue the Rescuer. I uh, know we're not talking about the specific mission, we're talking about the booster. Uh, Tritonia OP. Uh, we're gonna combine the lovely overpower with Tritonia, so Tritonia OP it is. That is this booster name. Okay. Uh, but there's an alternative mission I want to investigate, and that's just uh, uh, very serious rescue. So hold on. There's Jewel Station Redux, and then there's Rescue Redux. This was the thing that we tried to rescue Sidri in. And it, it did okay, but just didn't have enough Delta V. Well, we can fix that now. Yes, we can. Because now we have the Tritonia OP. And hopefully this... This will have enough Delta V. Now, we've got two missions here, and launching both is going to be quite expensive. Now, staging is off too. That's there, that's there. That's the wrong engine. Okay. Maybe put a docking port on it for backup. Not a bad idea. We won't be able to put a docking port that uh, really... I don't know. Uh, will we put a, maybe a small docking port would suffice. I mean... It, the thinking of it, uh, if you put a docking port down here, what if we get into trouble with when we're just on this stage? Ah, actually, those those are good locations for docking ports. Now that we take a look at it. Oh, come on. There, docking ports. Not too much addition to mass. Now, I want to check what kind of cash our contracts give us to make sure that we're going to recoup. We're going to send both things, I think. And But I want to make sure the cash, cash situation is alright. Cash situation. Um, yeah, yeah. This uh, this orbital station around Jewel will give us uh, 400,000. That's enough to cover both missions. If we can orbit Val with the Jewel station, so the station that we put in there uh, we want to send to Orbit Val as well, and then that'll get us even better. Um, we will send a a tourist along with the station. 
Uh, not not long. Oh, but then we won't be able to bring him back. Uh, okay, we'll just delay the whole tourist thing. Anyway, they don't really want to go to Jewel anyway. None of them want to go to Jewel. Okay, so these two contracts are the thing. Put the same size docking ports on the station. Okay, so where would we put... I guess we could just uh, dump a docking port on the surface, but... The problem is uh, the placement of the docking port on the pod might make it actually very hard to access it. So the thing is, if we tried to link the pod up with this at any point, the placement of the docking port on the pod, I guess it could sort of sidle itself in if I put the docking port here. I guess that'll make sense. I want more solar panels on the outside. They do tend to blow up, don't they? You know what? The solar panels... Th these loose solar panels tend to conduct heat like crazy, don't they? W maybe that was the real problem with them. I think this module actually exploded because of the solar panels conducting heat. I'm going to go with that theory. I might not need the inline docking port, that's true. But we need the monopropellant. Okay, that looks kosher. Still feel like I don't want all my solar panels on this portion. But how are we going to avoid that? I guess we could put an emergency shielded solar panel on the front as well. It'll look a little bit weird if it's ever extended, but I don't intend to extend it unless it's absolutely necessary. What if you need to link it with a ship with a normal sized document? Yeah, I was just thinking that. You know what? We'll have both. I, I, I'm, I'm, uh, let's dump that. Let's get the... Let's get the... Yeah. Everything seems to want to rotate the wrong way for me today. And the struts... Oh, they held this time. Okay. Okay. Let's say this is okay. Yeah, this mod prop in the inline docking port. Yes, I did drop the radial tanks. Uh, the docking port has 75 on a prop. Okay, so... Where are you, Jewel? Totally wrong place as usual. Okay, here we go. Uh, it's it's wiggling a bit. There's definite wiggles. Okay, SAS on thrall is up. I'm gonna be limiting the main seal down for a bit and then going up again afterwards. Oh, gim there is a gimbal limit. Huh. Alright. There's a working build up. Hope they get the welding tool fixed. Ah, ah, yeah, the part welder, right. Never used that. Okay, here we go. Oh boy. Right, uh, mainsail, let's, uh, let's limit you down. Uh, can I even rotate? Oh man, this is not feeling good. <laughs> And to think, I did put plenty of struts on. We did not skimp on the struts. Oh boy. I should have put on more dramatic music, honestly, but I can't reach for it right now. Uh, we've got the engines reading like they're overheating. Or about to pretend they're overheating or something like that. 
Uh, let's, 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 let's calm down here. We need to rotate quite a bit more than this anyway. But uh, even though uh, there's no aerodynamic issue right now, we're above the altitude where there's any aerodynamic issue. Oh boy. I need to turn up the mainsail. Well, at least separation went well. Now, there was that thing where the ablator was melting away. Even though we didn't really want it to melt away. There's no way of locking it, is there? Hmm. Okay, seems like we're good. Um, where the heck am I going with that thing? I'm uh, going to Jewel to once again try to rescue Sidri. Uh, yep, uh, Arthur said it. Uh, Nathan Kell uploaded a pre-release of RSS for testing. Well, I guess I had better test it. <laughs> yep, I think that's the thing to do. Now this launcher should have carried much more than this to orbit, but all the wiggling and uh, issues that we've had diminished its capabilities. Gonna have to figure out how to control it better. Perhaps something I should consider, modifying the two side booster to provide lifting surfaces through airplane parts so that when you go sideways it actually provides lift. Yeah, I thought about that. I thought about orienting the... You know, we have a lifting surface vehicle with the station. The problem is a lift can also cause you to flip out. Uh, we'll have to be very careful about how we do that if we choose to but for now I don't think it's right now the, the launcher doesn't seem great I think I need to fix some more fundamental issues with it with all the wiggliness oh looks like our launcher didn't even manage to bring this up properly uh, that's a problem So much for the OP of this. Okay, what is that? Hold on, uh, let me just make sure everything else is alright here. Uh, let's extend some solar panels. I, I probably actually grouped them to the lights. Is that right? No? Okay. Okay, what is that? Oh, uh, this is... I guess we have to rescue a Kerbal somehow from this? Is that what went on? What is this? Do you guys remember what this was? That brought Sidri to his ship. Oh, was it? Oh, okay. Well, I don't even remember my uh, mission order. Anyway, I've been doing a lot of things, so I, it's hard for me to remember what the heck I did before. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember now. You're right. Uh, now that you, uh, Mikey mentioned uh, no probe on it, so I couldn't bring it back. Yeah, now I remember. That, that, that is, yeah. I remember that. I could have just I could just launch the other one immediately and then do the transfers, but I actually want the the transfers to arrive at substantially different times, so that's why I'm doing it this way. Okay, dual periapsis going down, going down, going down. We need a lathe encounter again. So it'd be nice to get that inclination a little bit more tame. Okay, well anyway, let's do the burn first and then I'll mess with the mid-course plane change. It doesn't seem like it'll cost too much. Okay. Grab one of Pluto's moons and crash it into Pluto, see what happens. I think that's a um, very hostile first introduction <laughs> to Pluto, if, if that's what we did first. If you, if a few would be, if they mod the game to include something like an EM drive, assuming that's a thing, probably not a thing. 
<laughs> Honestly, uh, yeah, probably not a thing. Moving moons would be very difficult. Yes. Well, you could do it very, very slow, uh, slowly with an ion drive or something, I guess. No one cares about Pluto. Blow it up in the name of Kraken. I assure you, there are some very, very ardent Pluto defenders. Uh, you do not want to mess with the Pluto defenders. I, I can guarantee you that right now. It just wants to take away my encounter randomly. We'll have to do finer adjustments as we get in, but that'll be our main course plane change right there. But before we do that, obviously, we need to get the other mission up. So, we'll leave this mission in the dramatic darkness here. I think everything is quite settled. Uh, we should have plenty of fuel. Cross your fingers. Let's get back to the Space Center. Only a little bit more than our original dual station. But we had the Wiggles. So now, let's see. We'll just dump these. Uh, it doesn't look like the struts were actually directly to them. Maybe I should have added struts. But let's go red tank on it and mainsail on it. It won't look... Uh, it won't look quite as good though. What's the actual thrust profile of the twin bores? Ah, uh, that's horrible. Yeah, the main seals are much better. And we, we yeah, we, we don't need that much thrust. But these guys contain a lot more fuel. That's strange. Well, I guess we can extend this a little bit more. So, we're making it a little bit taller. And you know how that's going to work out. Oh, still a little bit short. Well, that's still more power than we need. Let's do some more struts here. And we have to also add the Separatrons back. Main sail on orange tank, bad idea. We can throttle down. If, uh, if, there's, uh, if there's a heat problem, we can throttle down. Uh, I hope it acknowledges that we do have a antenna, docking port, and everything, right? Can generate power, right? Okay, throttle up. SAS is on. Here it goes. I really shouldn't. I should stage the clamps at the same time as the engines, probably. Yes, I'm going to have it go backwards. By the way. Okay, not reading chat, I have to control this. This is a lot sm smoother though, a lot smoother. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! <sighs> Great. No, no, keep going, keep going, keep going, I didn't mean to push down. Ah. Well, this will be a time when making it a plane would have been a good idea. Come on, keep rotating. Hold, hold. Up we go again. Add wings. Okay, what I miss is ATM update for 1.0.2 yet? I think so. Yep. Let's try this again. Uh, and here, oh, I thought it was steadier, but. Uh, it seems like it's steadier and everything but pitch. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I've already lost it. Come on. Man, oh man. Verners would have been nice. Verners would have been nice. Uh, 
Okay, set. Well, at least that works. And we should be able to rotate more, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Once again, the mainsail is not going to suffice for orbit. But it's a worse situation this time. Well, I guess we can rotate. Now, that's looking like a serious sort of spacecraft right there. Should definitely... Almost makes you want... It definitely makes me want to keep this stage and maybe dump the poodle stage and just refuel it like this. But anyway. Okay. Add wings. <laughs> uh... Yeah, it costs a lot of Delta V. Gotta stay close to that prograde till you're 20 to 24. Yes, tell me about it. Uh, it was not giving much leeway there. Roll 180 degrees. No, we did it like the shuttle did it. Can't go wrong with the shuttle's flight plan, right? Right? Shuttle went upside down. Okay, due to the plane parts at the top, put a fairing around them. The whole point was to avoid the fairings. The reason I'm putting aerodynamic... I mean, I, I want to create nice little shapes so that I can avoid the fairings. Okay, it looked like the lifting body of the station is working against you, but I had it upside down. Well, one way or another, yeah. Add fins at the bottom. Yeah, sure, throw, throw aerodynamic surfaces all over the place, why don't you? Fairings might be heavy, but they help a lot with stability. Yeah, somebody... They, they've they decided that, didn't they? But uh, don't worry. Uh, version 1.0.3 will change everything. And then we'll figure out what the real situation is. I'm not going to adapt my ways for this version when I know a new version is going to come out. Alright, let's just uh, add a maneuver here to see if the correction can be made. Yeah, uh, that, that's all right. I'll do the mid-course plane change some other time. Let's just go with this. It's a good encounter. And this just has to be a station. We don't have to bring it anywhere. We want to bring it to Val. We just need to orbit Val. The contract just says, just says we have to orbit Val. Correct? Where are you, contract? Yep, just uh, orbit valve with anything, so it doesn't matter w what sort of situation this is in. Real world fairings are pretty heavy too, at least on... Yeah, real world fairings are heavy. Sure. I'm not saying that fairings are... are in any way not necessary. Am I gonna continue uploading the streams? I'm very much behind now. I'll try. I'm doing my best. What can I do? I mean, I'll, I'll try. I've, I've got the recorded video. What else am I gonna do with it? But if we're, uh, if I'm behind, I'm behind. Uh, thunderstorms seem to have reached the exact spot over your home. The last thunder made the floor vibrate. Ooh. That's a bit iffy. For those only following on YouTube won't know. Yeah, yeah, basically. Uh, I, I would like everybody up to speed, though. So that they can pop over here and uh, know what's going on. But that's tough. I mean, of course, most... Most Twitch streamers either A, don't put up their stuff on YouTube, or B, don't edit it. <laughs> they, just, they just put the raw streams up on YouTube. Uh, which would of course be easier, but not a very good policy as far as getting views on them. So, yeah, so I edit them, and that takes time. I could just throw the streams up without editing, I could always do that, but I don't think that's the best way to go. 
Okay, that looks like a minimum there. Now, plotting the mid-course plane change. Now this we will air break at Jewel. We don't want a leaf encounter for this. I think that's us crashing into Jewel right there. Okay, we'll take that for now. 93.3. Okay, I want to go to the tracking station to see which one gets in first. 